A Metro hospital has started a new program aimed at saving the lives of young mothers. Nurses are sending them home with Narcan, the drug that can reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. Overdoses are the second leading killer for new moms in our state after suicide. CBS4's Jeff Todd at Swedish Medical Center, where that program is being piloted. Jeff, let's hope it does save lives. Jim, it's only a few weeks old, and just today, another mom was sent home with Narcan. Now, that is the generic form of naloxone, and it's really a drug that wakes the brain back up for somebody going through an opioid drug overdose. The hope is that that mom will never need to use it, but just in case, it could save her life. And it just goes right up into their nasal passage. This is one of 100 doses of naloxone that the nurses inside the labor and delivery unit can give to pregnant women or new moms. We, as a team, screen every patient that walks in for drug alcohol use um, or history of. We feel like it can help reduce the mortality associated with substance use disorders. The real goal is to catch what's called accidental overdoses and pregnant women through one year postpartum are at very high risk. Now they're incredibly vulnerable and are having some postpartum depression use again. They're such high risk for overdosing. Dr. Rachel Duncan is with the Colorado Naloxone Project, which has 100 hospitals around the state on board to give out naloxone in the ER. You are giving the drug to them in their hand and they are able to take it home. Now the program is expanding to other vulnerable inpatient parts of the hospital. What is an area of high risk and high reward that we could identify and just keeping that incredibly vulnerable population safe um, seemed like a very obvious place to start. The nurses expect to give out about five to 10 tiny nasal bottles a month. They know each one can save a life. I think it has far reaching effects for our whole community. If this labor and delivery unit is deemed a success, this will likely expand to patients that are getting out of surgeries and they'll be sent home with some Narcan or Naloxone. But the biggest hurdle moving forward is really funding. This nonprofit has gotten a grant to buy their current supply, but the search is on to find even more money to try and get this life saving device into more hands. We're live in Inglewood tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.